Today I am going to do a haul video. This will be um, Sally's Beauty Supply. I went there and then we went to Walmart and I did order some stuff from Alta. So it's a little of each of those places. So I'm going to start with Sally Beauty first, which Sally Beauty Supply, I love going in there for my some hair care products, um, for my face care products and different things like that. But I hear so many of you wonderful beauties out there talking about is these kind of face masks that you know like a lot of you have been wearing um we just you know if you, one comes in a pack and you just soak it on and and there's different kinds out there um the one that we did use it was for the pores it was supposed to help um like a, like a detox like get rid of uh, all the gunk and maybe like makeup whatever and all that kind of stuff just uh from your pores and everything and it was actually quite nice um you know, it was just real cool and wet and just left it on and it was just, it was really nice. So we did do that one and we were pretty pleased with it. Um, so the poor one we did use, my husband decided to join me in some of these. Uh, he got two of the same, like me and him got the same with two and then the one is just mine. So um, we both got the uh, facial sheet mask. It is... Um, it's moisturizes and renews. Um, it says it restores critical moisture to dry skin. So yeah, these are this one here. Got it in Sally's Beauty Supply. It's for um, to help moisturize your skin. You know, give your skin a little more moisturization. Um, penetrates deep to hydrate without unwanted oiliness. And then this one here, I got the Skin Firming Facial Sheet Mask. It says it plumps skin and vital moisture for a tighter, younger look. Restores skin's natural elasticity. So I guess we will see with this one here. It comes in like a, a pink. Again, like I said, Sally's Beauty Supply. So we shall see. I figured give them a try. I didn't want to go too crazy because, um, you know, I might not like them. So, um, so then my favorite, I love um, a lot of the uh, face products I like to get um, on the... Um, uh, affordable end is a lot of Queen Helen or um, the Freeman. So I ended up getting several of the Queen Helen um, <laughs> products, but these are like roughly like around four to five bucks um, a piece, which you know is really good. And the first one I picked up was my Oatmeal and Honey Natural Face Scrub. This is. Um, this is probably the fourth time I've picked this up, purchased this, so this is a favorite and a keeper for me. Um, another repurchase is the Avocado and Grapefruit Mask. Um, this purifies and revitalizes. Um, I'm probably going to be actually doing this tonight. And then this is Refining Pomegranate and Raspberry Natural Facial Scrub. Resurface and refines. haven't tried this one or this this one was new I have tried it now but it was new to me so I was excited to try it out and it actually it's a very nice scent they all have very nice scents you know uh, natural you can smell the natural then scent. we have um, Walmart I got some stuff at Walmart okay well first I'll start off with I've been wanting to try this for a very long time and it's the fit me foundation now I know everybody's getting the matte one, the matte foundation, the new one. I don't know if I'd like that one. I can't say that I wouldn't like it. Maybe I would and it would surprise me. But the one I wanted to try is the dewy and smooth one. Um, this one here is the one I wanted to try. Because with my drying skin and everything, I thought this would be the better one for my maturing and drying skin and all that kind of stuff. I, um, and this is actually what I, I'm wearing this today. I did try it today. So, and then while I was there, I went ahead and picked up the uh, Master Conceal, the concealer. I got mine in Fair. This one here, and boy, oh boy, this bugger here, just very little. You don't need a whole lot. So I did use this today, and I, so far so good. Um, we'll see, but so so far so good. So I got those two things, and then while I was in the Maybelline area, I have it on today, one of their lipsticks from the Bloom, 
the ones that are in this like pretty pinky color. I only got one. It's funny because like I said, I only got like one of, of some of the lipsticks that were new. Um, but there is some other colors I might get from this. I wasn't sure at first, but the more I think about it, I think I do know which colors I want to get um, from this collection. But the main one I wanted to get, and I'm wearing it right now, um, it's on me right now, is the Peach Poppy. Something about this Peach Poppy, and I think I'm just ready for spring. I mean, I think majority, I'm not saying all of us, but a majority of us, I'm sure, are ready for spring because of the way this weather has been. But there's the Peach Poppy. And yeah, it is, you know, obviously a lighter, brighter peach color. But as, there, as all Maybellines, it's very moisturizing. Um, lipstick, I just love their lipsticks right there. It is. That's, this is Revlon and so is this. So Revlon has some new lipsticks out. And I did get one of these lip glosses. The, um, are these the HD lip glosses? And holy schmoly, if I can read. I can't even read. Yeah, these are the HD. It's a number 540. Honestly, I can't read. 540 HD. I can't read the name. If you just can. I'll put it a little bit closer, maybe. That's the color I have. It's of a peachy... Um, like and there's like gold specks in there and everything. It's very pretty color. Now, these have the brush. They don't have the doe foot applicator. They do have the brush. But oh, right there it is. And this is the Revlon. I think these are the HD. Yes, lipsticks or lip balms, lipsticks. What are they? Say lipstick. Okay, mine's an eight six five. Uh, Magnolia is what mine's in. Eight, eight, I don't know if you can see that. 865 Magnolia. Um, the packaging is okay. I mean, it's just see through here and silver. I think it would look, I think it would have looked a little bit more nicer or a little more appealing if it was maybe gold or rose gold color, something. Something like that. I don't know. Uh, or if they were to keep the silver down here, maybe have something different on the top here. I don't know. I'm not real picky on stuff like that, but I just, I just, it's okay. So this is Magnolia. That's it right there. It's, it's a pretty like neutrally uh, color. I'm not sure about, they smell, um, hmm. Smells cakey, like a cake. Is that what I want to say? So I was on a roll, but there it is, right there. It's very pretty color, maybe peach nude color. Really like that. Very moisturizing. So I think I'm gonna pick up some more of these for sure. The in amongst with lipsticks, I was in L'Oreal, and I did pick up one of the L'Oreal. Um, what are these ones called? Uh, one of the L'Oreal Infallibles, like a uh, 24 hour lip lipstick gloss thingy. Uh, mine, I can't read the color again, but it's in 105. I'll put it close by if you can read that, but number is 105, so if you're interested. It's almost like a um, pearless, pearlescent lilac color. It's really pretty. Um, has a really nice doe foot applicator. It's one of the ones that um, point, like, or angled. I, li I like that really well. And holy schmokes. That's it right there. It's of a pretty purpley color, purple family. And it's like iridescent. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then, of course, on the other side is your balm, like you set it with this, I believe. I think that's what you do. That's what you do. You let this dry for like, what, five minutes or so or something. Um, and then you put the balm on, and it's supposed to last for like 24 hours. So, but it, that is a gorgeous color. If you are a purple lover, um, like me with lip colors. That is just, mm. so I'm excited to try that one out.
Eclipse also, I was like in the NYC, NYC area, um, and they had some new products. And I came across the uh, City Proof Twistable Perfecting Lip Primer for, from NYC. And, you know, it's in one of them, them pencils, them lip pencils. And it's kind of different. It's a lip primer, but it's it's different. <laughs> I, don't know. I mean, I used it today and it, it worked pretty nice. Um, you could probably actually just wear it if you wanted to. Because um, it's like right there. It's kind of a neutralizing color. It's quite nice. Um, but I used this today for on my eyes. It is the City Proof 24 Hour Eye Primer from NYC. Um, and this is in 011, I think it's just natural or something, but here it is, here, I don't think I showed you the other one, did I, but it was 011 in the lip category, but this is for the eyes, and it's just, you know, the natural, um, this other one here is a color. Uh, the City Proof 24 Hour Ombre um, NYC, the one of the eye pencils, and this one is in 620 Champagne. Something, something Champagne, but there it is, right there. Pretty champagne color. I haven't used this one yet, but I'm sure it's going to be a gorgeous color to play with. Right there it is. I'm not sure how well Vince can you even see that. Very, very light champagne -y color. While I was in the Maybelline area, I totally forgot about this. I got one of the new Master Prime uh, Face Studio Primer. I got the Blur Plus Illuminate in 200. I got this one. And why I picked this one? Again, illumination. You know, I, I really like that. And when I I didn't put this on, I haven't tried it on my face or anything, I just took and squeezed a little bit out onto my hand, and um, I won't get too full into detail, because some of these things I will do reviews on, and Wet n Wild Fergie, and I thought for sure, how far are we getting into this, I thought for sure with the Wet n Wild Fergie that I would be lucky to find, because I wanted to get the highlighter that's in the Hollywood Boulevard. Well, they didn't have that. They have the thing there, but they didn't have them in stock. But I came across this. There was like only one left. And there's for uh, light. Is this? There's um, light, and then there's one for... Uh, there's two different shades. And it is a highlight, illuminator, and contour. I don't know if anybody has seen these yet. Um, mine's in Dolce de Leach. Dolce de Leach. I don't know how we say that. Something like that. And then there's a, a darker color. I'm not sure what it looks like because this was all that was left. This baby right here. I snatched it. I was like, alright, I'm getting it because I don't see what it's all about. So here it is. It's it's pretty big. Uh, you can see my hand here. It's pretty big. So you have your contour color, which is right there. Uh, definitely this would have to be for fair skin. I'm not so sure how well that will work for me. And then here is the highlight right there. The highlight's pretty pretty bright there. But um, I'm just not sure how well it, it... I haven't really played with it, so I don't know. So we'll have to see. But um, it feels soft. Right there they are. It might work, because as you can see right there is the contour and there's the highlight. So I haven't gotten to play with it yet, but um, definitely will be something to look for to play with. So like I said, it's a pretty big size, about what, four bucks, something like that. So I did get that then. I figured, hey, that was something new. Then I was so excited, I told Lynette McGee, because I've been like, oh, I've been trying to get this forever. And my Walmart didn't have it. Now they finally got the um, center stage take on the day mattifying powder. And I actually used this today and I love it. It's so crazy weird because it's like, it's very smooth and soft and silky. But um, yeah, it's like there's nothing 
like it doesn't look like there's much on your your hand but it, it's just it's I don't know now some compare this some have compared this to um, the NARS what was it the NARS something or other reflecting NARS reflecting something some compare it to that. I don't know. I don't. I never had that. Never tried it. Um, but that's what some. But I was excited, and I have used it today. And so far, so good. I think it's pretty nice. I mean, I don't know. We'll see if I'm a woohoo over it. I mean, I've been busting my butt trying to get this thing because I wanted to see. I was curious. And then the last thing I got in Walmart was one of Fergie's new eyeliners on the edge. They're called on the edge. <laughs> Right there is what it comes in those kind of packaging. And um, it's one of her pencils. Of course, it's purple, you know me. And it's a very pretty purple color. Right there it is. So got that. Which I have that on my inner inner eye area right now. I got from Alta, and the reason why I got ordered from Alta was I wanted to get, I want, I, I'm loving Lorac, and I want to get the Lorac Unzip palettes, both of them, and I had thought about getting the gold one, um, because it was something new, came out, but then I seen something else that caught my eye, and I have tried their blushes before, and this is the Lorac Unzipped, um, Shimmer and Matte Cheek Palette, and an alter ego lipstick. Uh, it's $116 value for $30. It's Alta exclusive, so I don't think you could get it anywhere else but Alta, as far as I understand. And I love their blush. I mean, I only got one blush from them, and I got it from, um, oh, what's that, HSN? I got it from HSN, and very pigmented. I was very impressed with it. So I knew I wanted to try this and have have this. I just thought it was cute and like I said I just I'm really enjoying Lorac very much. So it comes in this cute adorable packaging. I mean how cute is that you know and um, you open it up and you got your mirror and you do have the names on there printed on there so that's nice. Um, the blush the blushes are a pretty nice size too as you can see there. Very nice size. Um, there seems to be two, I would say two on the top are matte, and then the two on the bottom are more of a shimmer color. Uh, you have uh, underrated, which is this one here, and underrated is of a rosy pink color. I'll show you there, right there. That's underrated. Um, un unashamed is a bright pink, Barbie pink color, as they call it, or a lot of people like to call it. So there's unashamed. You can see, look how pigmented. Um, unapologetic is this one here. It's like of a bronzy color. Very pretty color, though. Um, deep bronzy berry something. I don't know. It's really gorgeous. I like it really well. There it is there on oh my that finger there. And then this one here, unimaginable, is like a gorgeous peachy color, which obviously is gonna be one of my favorites. I always love me a nice peachy shimmery um, blush. So that's that one there. Okay. I'm gonna put them on here. As you can see, holy crap! I mean, seriously. There they are there. Are they not gorgeous? That one's the peach one. Right here, the unapologetic one. So there they are, all right there. But what comes with it is uh, a lipstick. One of their lipsticks and it's in uh, Girl Next Door and it comes in a nice gold packaging Girl Next Door 
uh, lipstick. Okay, um, I do have this. Okay, I do have Girl Next Door. Um, it's in. This is in gold just because for the whole unzipped um, thing and in that kit. Because mostly all their alter ego uh, lipsticks come in the silver, like um, chrome kind of a thing. And this is what Girl Next Door looks like. It's a pinky corally color. Now they're matte, so if you're not a matte person, you might not like them, but there's the color right there. Very pretty. And mm. so then, I wanted to go ahead and get um, and try the new Rimmel Lasting Finish 24 Hour Com with Comfort Serum uh, Foundation. I wanted to get that because I really love my Rimmel foundation, the uh, Wake Me Up foundation. Really love that one very much, and I thought I would give this one a try. I've heard some good things about it. Um, just the only thing is, it doesn't have the pump. That's the only uh, problem I've been hearing. But um, so I got I got that in Classic Ivory, and then I did pick up the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer uh, for up to eight hours. So. Uh, we'll see how well that works out. At, uh, I wanted to get a couple eyeshadow palettes from Alta, and they had um, the uh, what is it? The buy one, oh no, buy two get two free, is what it was. So, being that I wanted the unzip palettes, and I thought, you know what? I've never tried Alta, and I'm still getting the unzip palettes. Not gonna stop me. I'm, I'm still going to get them, but I thought I would go ahead and try the Ulta, because I think this is their version, almost to be like Lorac, the unzip pack. Like it's, it's, it has the same, you know, like this one's gold, this one's called Gilded Gold, and this one's called Rose Gold. Now, I'm not going to be able to swatch all these, because I'll be here forever, so I probably will do a separate video, if you'd like me to, to um, do a review and swatches, um, and all that kind of stuff, but... Um, you know, the Gilded Gold has some really pretty, uh, oops, I'll take that away, some really pretty colors there, and, um, and you get a, a nice brush with it, um, and then the Rose Gold, out of, out of the two so far, the Rose Gold looks like it might be my most, will, will probably be my most favorite, but we'll see, but that's the Rose Gold one, um, but I'll, I'll do a full on review for those, because I won't have enough time to sit here and swatch forever. I probably that's not. Um, and then my two free things I got, which I was surprised it was this little teeny weeny. <laughs> it's a blush, one of the Ulta blushes. And this one's in Sweet Pea. It's the Ulta Minerals Blush. So, but this is a very pigmented blush, and this is in Sweet Pea. Right there it is. Very pretty. I actually wore it the other day when I was out and about, and I actually really like it. So right there it is, that's Sweet Pea. So I was quite happy with that. And then I wanted to get the Illuminating Alta, the powder, this one's in the Pink Diamond Illuminator. They have another one, I think, is it gold or something like that? I don't know, I'll have to check into it and see. But here's this one here, the pink one. It's very, whoops, very pretty color can't see it too well, but um, it's really nice. There it is there. And there it is there. So I, I like it. I think it's really nice. Lastly, I don't know where my freebies ended up at. Oh, goodness, I don't know. The only freebie I got, because when I got my uh, Lorac blush thingy, I got a free Cobra mascara, uh, curling, lengthening, volumizing, volumizing uh, mascara. I've never tried it, so I figured I'd give it a whirl, see what it's all about. So I got one of those then. That is it. That is my haul. This is going to be way long. I'm going to have to shorten it, definitely. Um, so, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for joining me. 
Also, if you're not subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you and hit the subscribe button. I think it's down below now. And also, beauties, just remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until the next time, y'all take care. Bye-bye.